Yesterday, the government announced plans to shut down all the pubs, all the restaurants, and to stay inside and self-isolate if you have to. That's pretty much the end of this series, right? Well, a lot of the roads that I go down are pretty much abandoned anyway, so it's not like I'm going to bump into people. And the only risk that I would have is walking into people in towns. Are there people going to be there? If there are, I'll just avoid it. Um, it was very much a testing episode. Can I make it to Ghoul? Is it safe to be there? Will I be stopped? Hi, I'm Stuart Morris. I'm cycling to every large town near me in order of ascending distance and rating them with the end goal of reaching Flamborough. This is your review. I'm walking the streets of a flat little town in Yorkshire that most of you will never have heard of, Ghoul. And those who do know where it is, between Doncaster and Hull, have nicknamed it Sleepy Hollow because nothing has ever happened here that's made the headlines in a newspaper. The place has no history worth putting into history books and they don't really manufacture any. Ghoul, known to some as Sleepy Hollow, it's a former shipbuilding town about 25 miles south of York, which makes this the most southern town on the series so far. This exciting cycle takes us whizzing past a university campus, darting around a moderately sized field, and navigating through a military installation, all within a five minute window. Ghoul has a proud heritage of songwriters and performers, including the alternative rock band Sandra's Wedding, whose song, Hollywood, you can currently hear playing in the background. Sandra's Wedding has a respectable 180 monthly listeners on Spotify, with a keen listenership spanning from Ghoul to London. But this ain't Hollywood It's a former ship building town Baby, it's in my blood And it's where they lay me down Ghoul? More like Ghoul? Because this place is a ghost town. One of Ghoul's claim to fame is its 2019 Gold Award in the Yorkshire in Bloom contest, but not all is as it seems. What this plaque doesn't mention is that Gold does not mean first, they haven't won anything, and they didn't actually win their four town bracket. Meanwhile, Keeley wins the small city bracket, whatever that means, with a paltry silver gilt award, claiming a prize despite being the only entry in this category. Yorkshire and Bloom need to really work out this category system. Salt and pepper are the two most important condiments when cooking. Salt can replace electrolytes in the bloodstream, while pepper can bring out the flavour in any dish, provided that the flavour you're looking for is pepper. It should come as no surprise then that salt and pepper are typically given larger containers than those of the lesser herbs, like parsley or toothpaste. But the people of Ghoul have gone one step further. These landmark listed water towers have been dubbed the salt and pepper pots by Ghoul locals. The brick water tower was built in 1885, and was replaced with the slightly larger concrete tower in 1927. Both dominate the Ghoul skyline, and can be seen very well from the neighbouring caravan park. Ghoul is a very industrious port town. It's also very windy. It's a former ship building. Industry, shopping and greenery, all nestled together in perfect harmony. That's why I'm giving Ghoul a Yorks out of Yorkshire. And it's where they lay, and it's where they lay. 